Welcome back to another video of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. Know what the slowdown is, eh? Iron Band is putting together his latest progress report with details, but I can tell you this, it's the Trogs! Recently, just before the Trogs surfaced within the site, we had uncovered a large number of strange carved idols, but we didn't have the chance to study them, for soon after their discovery, the Trogs chased us away from the ruins, and those idols have a strange effect on the Trogs. It makes them go berserk. Bring me eight idols. I want to study them, and I want them out of Trog hands. You can find the idols on the Trogs infesting the site. I need a progress report sent to Thelsamar. A progress report and a restatement of my request for more blast powder. Here's the report. Take it to Jörn Hornhelm. He's our local contact in Thelsamar. It's not a difficult task, but it must be done. Whatever you say, boss. Anyway, let's play. <laughs> so it looks like there's a lot of people here, surprisingly. One thousand HP. Did he just use taunt? Oh yeah, I need to put on... I forgot I removed that add-on. So we need to put on auto loot now. Mm. The other add-on makes it disappear the whole time, so it's hard to tell like what items we get. Very scary area, actually. Because the rare might actually spawn, I might be attacking it. And then it's game over, man. It's game over. Come on, bro. Thank you. There's one that spawned right behind him. So that one is still there. Increase your agility by 5 for 30 minutes. I think we'll use that for the dungeon. Because I think within this video we will do dead mines, hopefully. That's a big daddy crit right there. Don't see no enemies. The dogs when I come in. Let me run to a safe spot so I can actually let them in.
Okay, I'll be right back. Just give me one second. Okay, I'm back. Anyone for Wailing Caverns? I just checked who it is, and he's not even online. What? How is it even possible? He just talked. Is that even a wor word? He just spoke? Bro, we need to get our actual pet in. There's two up there. Uh, is that the rare? Yeah, the rare just spawned. We don't want to touch that rare. We'd like to know where he is so I can mark him. Okay, he's marked Moon. He's all the way up there, dude. Level 21 rare. I only want to do dead mines once this guy tells me to do it. Because it will also like pre-select or let me do let me get all the quests for that dungeon as well. I think we should get the one up there because later there's going to be another one spawning and then you're going to double pull them. In all honesty, oh, okay. I thought uh, with the next level. I was like, okay, maybe not movement speed. Maybe we just take flat damage for now. But no, we're level 19, not... not. The movement speed for your pet would be great, though. For them to reach your target faster so that they stay out of range. 
Instead of a boar, we could just use that then. But yeah, we most probably will get a full level off the dead mines if we do all the quests. Yeah, I think 4% flat damage on your your pet would be really good for dead mines. Any damage increase I think would be good. So I think one they say take this for your aspect of the cheetah to run yeah it might actually be better to be honest now that i think of it Let's get down, let's get down to business. We got one more night, one more night to get this. Yeah, as of the cheetah, <clears throat> what, do we, what do we get, 3%? 3% movement speed increase. Sounds pretty good, at least until you get a mount, right? Sorry. You got them. Nicely done, adventurer. Plus five spurt. For wear, even with those berserk trogs about, I'm going to keep my eye on you. You show some promise. I think we need to run around this cave, not through it. Quite a few rares inside there. I also don't feel like using this, to be honest. Plus five spurt. It's not that bad, but I honestly don't think it would do more damage, right? Sure, the weapon swings does a lot more. Pretty DPS more. <clears throat> but I would rather... I would rather have the added agility. Plus two agility, plus two stamina. That That just sounds more appealing to me. What do you guys think? Let me let me know in the comment section. Would you rather have two agility? Higher crit rate, higher hit chance, right? Or would you rather take five spirit, which could lead you to be spamming more abilities? For me, I think flat damage is better. Flat DPS. If I was a warrior, there was no doubt on my mind, right? It does 3 DPS more, it's a better weapon, boom. But I'm not using the weapon as a weapon. Majority of the time this is just on my back and I'll be shooting. Here at the 
far strider lodge we prize hunting skills above all else wish to gain my approval you'll have to earn it you look up to the challenge lass well now these are excellent specimens you collected adventurer good money for high quality materials that's for sure returns to orbit orbitine okay so we'll have to unfortunately run there you've come for training in order to pass it on to your pets see you see what can i do for ye what can i do for ye off with ye okay so right now we could uh, drop our pet so we're not going to feed him we're just going to run with him and then we're going to just you know kick it out of our party because now our cat has bite and claw and hopefully when we level up the cat we don't have to use uh growl anymore hopefully most probably we'll still have to but i want to get to a point where my cat does more dps than us so that we could rather spend the 25 focus every five seconds on damage Rather than on Growl. That's maybe another Google search I have to do. Can your pet keep aggro without Growl? <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that did research about this and made videos and conspiracy theories. And I honestly think it it should be possible. Like, especially once you get to, like, the frenzy levels and stuff, right? And as soon as it lose aggro, you could just, like, use intimidation, which is a stun. I don't know. Gonna swim across. No, no, I think it will be faster to run around. What's this? 11 Intel, 10 Spirit. So just look at that. It shows a 200% increase, but I don't agree with that. Sure, 200% increase for survival, but not the other two. got more mail from the auction house which is great it's just great level 13 so we shouldn't even pull aggro dude i can't wait faster than the cheetah we are one level away dude then we'll get a flat 20 percent movement speed increase and then running like this is not going to be as tedious. Let us be honest. Okay, so we can abandon this pet. Nice. Goodbye, buddy. Thank you for teaching us bite. You were very helpful. Very helpful indeed. So that uh, that pet taught us bite three. Great bar! Iron Band's having trouble with the trogs. I wonder if he wants that blast powder to aid his digging. 
or to aid his efforts against the trog beasts. Well, either way, it's powder well spent. But what's strange is I sent him plenty of blast powder weeks ago. I wonder where it went. We'll need approval to get Iron Man more blast powder. You'll have to take his report to the Explorers League headquarters in Ironforge. Here's the report. Give it to Prospector Stormpike, and don't forget to duck after you deliver it. Stormpike is hot-headed, and he won't be happy to hear of Iron Man's slow progress at the site. You'll find Stormpike in the Assembly of Explorers. See you soon. Dude, we have so much leather again. So let's see here. Fly to Ironforge. So you know, you guys know what I'm gonna do, right? We're gonna level up that leatherworking. Mark my words, you won't find faster griffins anywhere in the Eastern Kingdoms than the ones right here in Thelsamar. So I have a, a random hand in quest here. Random hand in quest. Because, like, while we were questing, we got an item. And I did... I, I did read it, but the problem is that... My inventory was full, so it didn't count. So... That's annoying. We're also collecting wool now. Wool is extremely expensive, by the way. I mean, just the vendor price alone is 33 copper each. Each. So, at the bare minimum, it's like 40 copper. You know, per. It could even go to like one silver. I would say. Because of how rare it is. And it's a very small room for wool. I think it's like five levels and you have a chance to always get cloth instead. And then after that it's just... The next level, which is... Uh, okay, so... Um, let's see here. What trainer is this? Let's just instantly go to our leather worker. Which profession trainer would you be looking for? Fimble Finespindle has a shop set up on the northwest side of the Great Forge. I wager he could show you how to make some fine armor. I hope so. Okay, guys, I'm gonna quickly just level up here. See you in a second. Okay, so we are making medium leather now. From light to medium. So what I want to do is I want to stay on this level. Until this is no longer giving experience. And then we'll use medium leather to level up. What else can we do? Uh, first aid, not really. Uh, cooking, I don't really think so. We got some stuff. But like, I, I think it's going to be so fast that... Yeah, I don't think we need it. that iron band i sent him a load of blast powder weeks ago but he's made no mention of it in this report so where did the blast powder go if iron band still needs blast powder then by magni he'll have it i sent the approval on ahead with a messenger to yearn hornhelm in Thelsum. he'll prepare the powder and other supplies to take to iron band 
and one more thing, I want you to personally see that the shipment of powder reaches its destination. The last one didn't, so keep your mind sharp and your eyes open. Buy a bronze tube. Greetings. It's a copper tube. Yeah, it doesn't have a bronze tube. He has a copper tube. I assume you can make a lot of money from it. That's why he wants us to buy it the whole time. Yeah, dude, I kind of think we're going to go to... Oh, no. I think we're going to... Dungeon now. Dead mines. Potentially. Enter a deep tunnel tram. Oh my good oh my oh my goodness, bro. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, we'll wait for the next one. Hey, we're on the train now, finally. We're on the tram. Is he doing my first aid? How much is it healing now? 161, dude. It's like nothing. I honestly hope we can get close to like one gold with this weapon. This was like 83 silver to buy. I shouldn't have bought it in the first place, to be honest, but... Yeah, whatever. Wait, why do I have so little potions, dude? Uh, train your class spells, but we're not level 20 yet. Look at the wisdom and knowledge of the beast, and you will see yourself. Observe as the owl does, learn cleverness from the saber cat, embody the mighty spirit of the wolf. Look at the wisdom and knowledge of the beast, and you will see yourself. Observe as the owl does. Learn cleverness from the saber cat. Embody the mighty spirit of the wolf. Look at the wisdom and knowledge of the beast. Shut up. You will see yourself. Observe as the owl does. Learn cleverness from the saber cat. Embody the mighty spirit of the wolf. You've come for training in order to pass it on to your pets. Look for a bronze tube again. Insert tab A into slot B, then of course it's going to go boom! Here, let me show you what I have, and then you can ask Lilium about how to put it together so it doesn't blow up. Off and away. I just made uh, around 30 flying goggles. Uh, the crafting price was the same as vendor price. Wow. So he's claiming that he got 30 skill for free.
We can't use it. We're not engineering. It's four spirit and four stamina. It's not that great anyway. But I mean, it's a headpiece that you didn't have. Heavy curved bow. Like it's telling me to buy one. I supply best deals in all of Stormwind, my friend. Won't find any better. Now, what can I help you with? It's still weaker than my current weapon, so that's a no from me, dog. Uh, buy a thousand eight hundred sharp arrows. So now it tells me to buy these items from the auction house, and we're also not going to do that because. Last time it cost me about one gold to buy all of this stuff. And I don't think it was worth. So we're not going to do that again. Uh, we'll, we'll put it up for 10 silver. There's nothing else we really want to sell. I'm not going to buy. Fly to Red Ridge. Oh, wow. We're still not doing dead mines. Best deals in all of Stormwind, my friend. Won't find any better. Now, what can I help you with? So the problem now is... Will we get ammo? <laughs> Because we have two open bag space for ammo. What can I? Where is it ye would like to go last? For just a few coin, my griffins can get ye there faster than even the swiftest horse. How dare you interrupt my song? Uh, what's wrong with you? Oh snap, dude! I should have grabbed everything from the auction uh, from the uh, mailbox and put it back on the auction house. Dude, will we will we be able to reach level 60? So we're gonna hand in quest here. We're gonna hand in quest there. It's two quests we probably will never hand in. We're 15 out of 20 quests going to a new zone. So we're going to start leveling now in in Red Ridge Mountains. So when is Dead Mines Mabri? Oh, by the way, guys, I did mention this before, but I'm going to just say it again. Happy Halloween. Hope you have a fantastic Halloween if you do celebrate in your country. We, well, I live in South Africa. We don't celebrate it here because you'll get kidnapped and uh, stuff. So, I could really use a hand here, adventurer. With the town under siege, it's been hard to get supplies. 
My tools were being delivered from Goldshire by wagon, but the bridge was blown out. We put the tools in a boat, but the orcs hit it with a catapult. Just my luck. My toolbox sank right to the bottom of the lake. Retrieve my toolbox, adventurer, and I'll make it worth your while. I've been using so much iron keeping the Stormwind Guards outfitted, I don't have enough to supply the stable's horses with shoes. Take this note to Blacksmith Argus in Goldshire. It explains to him my problem and requests a shipment of horseshoes. These are trying times, adventurer. The township is under constant siege. Without reinforcements, we will certainly face defeat. The message I now entrust to you is of utmost importance. Get this report to General Marcus Jonathan of Stormwind immediately. Once your delivery is made, return to me at once with any news, be it good or bad. Now make haste. I find myself in quite a pinch here, adventurer. The bottles are close to running dry. The latest booze shipment is long overdue. The orc invasion has been hell. Perhaps you can go to work for me? I need you to pick up a keg of Thunderbrew Lager from Grimboo's Thunderbrew in the Westfall Hills, a cask of Merlot from Stormwind, a bottle of Moonshine from Darkshire, and a skin of Sweet Rum from Goldshire. Bring those back to me, and I will see to it you are rewarded. Except a free lunch. Where the heck is this? Light be with you. Farewell. What are you looking for? Have a good one. Can you do me a favor? I've prepared a lunch for Guard Parker, but he's out on patrol. He's a big, strong Stormwind Guard who can defend himself, but it's much too dangerous out there for a townsperson like me. So if you deliver his lunch for me, then come back here and I'll give you a free lunch. Parker patrols the stretch of road leading to Duskwood. So, Stout Mantle sent you? Well, I owe him. What I am about to tell you could cost me my life. The Defias gang is up to something big. Last I heard they were working in conjunction with various gnolls, kobolds, and even goblins. Take this note to Stoutmantle. It explains as much as I know on the subject. So I don't want to just like trash stuff. But I think... Uh... to get rid of some quests here, man. Nothing would please me more than to make you some Red Ridge goulash. But there's a slight problem. During the recent orc uprising, I fed the entire brigade of Stormwind troops. My cupboard is now bare, but if you can provide me with the ingredients, I'd be happy to oblige. Just bring me five pieces of tough condor meat, five great gora tusk snouts, and five helpings of crisp spider meat. 18. It's not high enough. I think it's always at the same spot. I don't know why Questy is showing it like it's at 10 different locations. I think it's always over here. 
like close to the edge here. There it is. Honestly, don't know why Quest is showing it. There's like multiple locations. That's not the case that I'm aware of, at least. Um. Our pet just leveled up. Our pet's now level 16, which is very low. Uh, hopefully we can get some levels there with the pet. That would be great. Fly to Westfall. Then we have a turn in and then accept a quest and then we fly again to Stormwind. Where would you like to fly to? What? Like what's happening here? Can I just do dead mines? We're gonna do a quest close to dead mines. All right. I'm okay with that, I guess. Should we join, join Aleph G, uh, join Global, I guess that's what it's called. Is also joined public. I don't know. I don't see any chats happening. Maybe it's join world. There we go. Someone talked in world. There's one group looking for one DPS. Uh, let's see here. King's honor, friend. Bah, I should have let that scoundrel rot when I had the chance. This information is crucial. Good work. I wonder what Wiley meant when he mentioned the stonemasons. Perhaps that was a slip of tongue. Could the Defias gang be related to the stonemasons? Only one man would know for sure. Matthias Shaw, head of SI7. Show him Wiley's note and see if he has anything to add to this growing mystery. If you have trouble finding Shaw, check the barracks in Old Town. As they fly to Stormwind now.
I don't I, I don't know what he's saying there. Where are you going? Well, if you're looking to get there quickly, then look no further. Yeah, so I think what's what what's happening is you have to do this quest right in front of Dead Mines first, and then you actually get the main quest, which will lead to uh, blue items. I think. Our quest log is anyway full, so I don't really want to delete stuff. Says so we still have a quest to hand in here. The Prince of Shoes. They're gonna go four, man. Solomon is a noble leader. His words carry great weight with me. I shall seek the counsel of the king and make the situation clear to him. Assure the good judge that he has the Stormwind army's support. Reinforcements will be sent as soon as word is given from his majesty. While I wait for a response from the king, I want you to carry this letter to Magistrate Solomon. Dismissed, adventurer. Dude, <laughs> Wailing Caverns as well. What level do you need to be for Wailing Caverns? Yeah, we could be doing Wailing Caverns. But like, dude, it's such a long run. For me to do that, I would want to have Aspect of the Cheetah at the very least. It's a very, very long run. Because I think Alliance can't go through dark sh uh, dark Duskwood, right? Can't go through Ashenvale. I think you have to run through the tunnel here on the left side. Through this area. Which is a very long distance. Can I help you? Speak quietly and with great care. The wrong word in these parts could get your throat cut. You need to chill. What is it you need from me? You need to chill. Please, woman. Just show me them nips. Please. Well met. Welcome to SI. Seven headquarters, adventurer. This matter might be more complex than Stoutmantle realizes. The Stonemason's Guild was run by a man named Edwin Van Cleef. Van Cleef was responsible for rebuilding Stormwind after the Orcs raised it in the First War. Apparently, Van Cleef and his men were unhappy with their treatment by the King after the reconstruction was complete. That just might explain a thing or two. I have written a more detailed account for your master in Westfall. Take this to him at once.
wonder if I should just... Maybe. Let's just grab everything and replace it back into the... Put it back in the auction house. Hopefully it will sell. I'll sold it in sell. To attack power. Level 5. I mean, it's very expensive, so I can see why. If our flask of oil doesn't sell again, I'm gonna just sell it to the vendor. definitely use this. We have so much meat, dude. These great beasts know paths that you can't find on foot. They'll get you there fast and maybe show you something new at the same time. Dude, we're flying around so often. I honestly just hope we're gonna do dead mines. wonder why they want you to buy arrows the whole time, dude. I mean, I, yes, I'm a hunter, but like... If you're a lions, it's mo mainly just guns, right? At least when you're a, a, a dwarf. Edwin Van Cleef. I know the name well. To think that a man so industrious and talented could turn into such a scoundrel unnerves me. I'll need further proof before I believe this. We need to discover the location of the Defias hideout. Adventurer, my scout reports that a Defias messenger has been seen on the roads between Moonbrook, the Gold Coast Quarry, and the Jangalode Mine. I want you to capture him. If he resists, kill him and bring me whatever he is carrying. Okay, travel to... Okay, kill the fire's messenger. Loot him for his mysterious message. Okay. 
Okay, I feel like we should also work this out, dude. Claw is 25 focus. For 8 to 12 damage. Where Bite is 35 focus. For 24 to 28 damage. So that's a right click good buy on Claw, right? Because Bite is more efficient. But it's a 10 second cooldown. Hmm. Okay. So we don't want Claw to happen the whole time then. Almost couldn't target the guy. An eight slot back. Oh, dude. An eight slot back, my buddy. Take that, though. Mind if I do? But I, I think I did switch on dungeons, right? I'm, I'm scared that I selected without dungeons. Because, like, honestly, by 19, I, I thought we are going to do dead mines. Maybe, maybe the game is like, no, no, 20 is good. What? Bro, I swear I saw another bag icon. Oh my goodness, we got another 8 slot? What? Bro, that's crazy. Okay. Double fights, but I mean, it's slow level. We should be fine. First time using multi shot.
See, it, it does claw the whole time because bite is too expensive. Yeah, first time we got disarmed, I think. Souls should throw it. Also, it's not the greatest pulls. Fireball. Still need to do an escort, well, not an escort quest, but like, find this guy that's has a mysterious message. Goodness, dude. <sighs> Need to kill one more looter.
kill the defiers. Yeah, I don't know. Kill the defiers, but the spawns in a moon brook. He walks along the path to north, uh, to the Gold Coast quarry. If you don't see him along the road, wait for him to spawn in Moonbrook. It's like I'm standing on top of his spawn point, so we'll give it five minutes. I'll pause it for you guys. What? But I just saw a chicken. The rogue is following a chicken. Didn't see the rogue, obviously. <laughs> okay, there's a group of people, three roughly, that said they just killed them in the middle of the road. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I most probably am waiting here for like a half an hour. I got some new add-ons added to the game, like... Yeah, dude. I've been waiting here for a while now. <laughs> Finally spawned. Wow, he runs fast. Okay, so that, that's done now. Next thing it says I need to run all the way down here. Travel to Westful Lighthouse. The fire's hideout. I think I'm in the wrong place, dude. Yeah, we are. This is summoning stone, but you can't use it. <laughs> I think. I think right now it's just a stone. Alright, we have three bag spaces available. Would have been cool if you could carry bags and put that in your in stuff in your bag also. Level eighteen. I don't even think my pet will be able to tank this. But we should be doing high enough damage. Yep. So now what? Delete the other working one. Okay, kill the old Merc Eye. I loot him. Holy shit, it's it just like... Like, give me a fright. I think 20 of them just spawned in front of us, dude. It's 
So these are very smart murlocs. That's so weird, dude. I can't remember ever no like knowing that there's costs or murlocs. Oh shit. Ooh, these things are strong, dude. No, I, I don't. I, I don't think that's the case. I just think we're weak. Where's my apples there? Okay, I just interrupted my food buff. Look at this. They, they're nowhere to be seen. All of a sudden, there's like ten of them. just leveled up. I don't think we can loot that. These guys will pull. And there might be another one around the corner. Bro, this is where we can kill the murkies. For the loot, bro. To make those insane items I saw. With leatherworking. This is the murloc you farm for it. found him. debuff do you have, bro? What is as if... Ah, Sal found only. Dude, we're taking damage from something. I 
I mean, saying this, but I'll never take it. So... How long is this debuff gonna be on my pet, dude? Abandon Keeper of Flame. What are we doing now? Are we running? Why? Why are we running all the way back? This quest is almost done, dude. Uh, I thought this guide is supposed to be like very good, very good. And now it's like very questionable, very questionable. Uh, he still has the debuff. Dude, that's so much damage, bro. When the damage numbers is like blah, 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 on the screen, then you know it's nice. Three of seven, so this one. It's a waste. Bro, I was honestly hoping it would be uh something more valuable. Like a ring? That would be great. This one. Okay, this quest is not a hand in here.
Uh, we could just throw away the cheese. I thought cheese counts as meat, right? Because it's made of milk. Mostly milk. What is, uh, what is cheese then if it's not meat? I mean, it's not really meat, right? Like, just like milk, it's not really meat. Is it just a dairy? I, I honestly don't even know, dude. Isn't that a bit weird? But I don't know. Because cats only eat meat and uh, and fish. But if it doesn't eat cheese, then I don't want it in my inventory. You know we're almost level 20. <laughs> I, I craft... Oh, brave sister, Sadawar, the warrior has died at level 9. In the forest of Murloc. Weak warrior. <laughs> This is indeed firm proof that Van Cleef is in charge. Now all we need to know is where the Defias gang is hiding out. We've had a stroke of luck while you were gone. We captured a thief trying to steal Saldean's wagon. He has promised to lead us to the hideout in exchange for his life. I want you to defend the traitor so he can reveal the hideout. Return to me once you have uncovered the location. Your worth to the people's militia has been validated by your brave acts thus far. Some Defias have eluded us. My most trusted scout reports that these Defias have been looting and pillaging the countryside all the way into southern Westfall. We believe they are hiding out in the Dagger Hills, plotting their next move. Slay the wretches in the name of the people's militia. So, Stoutmantle sends a scrawny person like you to protect me. Guess you'll have to do. Better bring some friends, too. You know the deal, right? You watch my back and I'll take you to the Defias hideout. But you better be close by my side. The Defias gang wants my head now. If they see me with you, they'll try to kill me. Let me know when you and any friends you can round up are ready to go. Uh, I hope I can solo it. I am alive. Uh... 
Worst case, you just let him die and run. I. <laughs> So protect him at all costs, pretty much. Now he walks. The Defiest Traitor of Doom. What level is he? Level 15. We can do this, baby. That mage is gonna double pull, watch. Yeah. He's like half health. He's full health instantly. So he goes to full after combat is done. So we have no more potion. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. You want him to get attacked first and then get aggro of him. This way he would actually join the fight and be a third member. So what I did earlier there with the two mages, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, turn in the quest. I'm preparing for dead mines, that's for sure. You will solo to 60 with your first char. What do you mean solo?
light be most excellent adventurer. Van Cleef is as good as ours now that we know where he is hiding. And there is but one task left for you to complete. Edwin Van Cleef must be assassinated. While it saddens me to condemn any man to a death sentence, it is for the greater good of the people of Westfall that Van Cleef is laid to rest once and for all. Bring me the villain's head once the deed is done. Where are you going? I don't know where I'm going. You get there quickly, then look no further. Computer shows there, so I go there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this guy is claiming that he's gonna do... Like, he's gonna solo to level 60 like a man. Right? So I'm like, okay, as in you're doing no dungeons and no group quests? And he's like, yes, like a man. So I just, I responded saying, so you'll be a weak-ass level 60. Because that's true. He's gonna be full green, most probably. Full green items, and he's gonna have zero stats. Like, I, I'm sorry, but I, I don't think it's a good idea. I mean, I would, I would also do something like that. Right, we make a whole YouTube series about it. So, like, be self found, right? So no auction house and anything. No dungeons, no, no group quests. Like, just pure solo to level 60 all the way. That could be fun. But for that, the series has to do well. So we can do, like, different challenges and stuff. I don't know what class it would be then. What class would I go with that challenge? Replay our Warlock? Replay on Gnome Warlock. Sal found only. Uh, Sal found and... Yeah, Sal found... Yeah, I think it's I think it's fine. There's a dead body here. No. That's a priest, bro. That's a priest that made his own chess piece. Or bought it from the auction house, but still. What can I do? Thanks. I could really use the meal. Guarding Lakeshire from the orcs and gnolls is tough work. Before you go back to Darcy, can you bring her some flowers for me? You can get them at the herbalist shop back in Lakeshire, at the west end of town. But when you get the flowers, don't tell the herbalist Marty whom they're from or whom they're for. Thank you. We're still leveling up our pet though. Uh, Warlock, I would say Warlock or Rogue, I'll do it with. Because later down the line, your Rogue would stun lock the enemy, and it would become so much easier. You'd have like a 7 second stun, and during that time, you will get the enemy, no matter who it is. You most probably will get them to like half health. 
You could also play the full backstab build. I just despise the movement speed while being invisible. And you'll almost one-shot anything. With an okay dagger. You don't even have to get a good dagger. And I also thought our... Our pet will level up faster, but yeah, it's pretty slow. So yeah, it looks like we're still not doing dead mines, guys, unfortunately. I sold so much spider acre. Well, we don't even need that, bro. It's something else we need. Level 20, bro. Okay, we're level 20. I think we'll just take the movement speed, to be honest. Huh, you see, we need to scan. Skinning knife is the next cheapest thing. So this add-on actually works, that's pretty cool. So there's a new add-on that I got that will delete the cheapest thing. Now it takes the vendor price first and then the uh, auction house price second, but since we didn't scan this, uh, we don't know what the auction house price is. I think the best option for us to do is to just get that out of our inventory, and then we'll feed our pet. So the reason for the movement speed... The reason for the movement speed is because that's what we need. Uh, is because... Uh, your pet can reach the enemy faster, which means you can taunt it further away from you, which means you'll stay shooting. Like, that's the whole purpose. I need to run to vendors.
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You see, that's the meat I give. Yeah, we just, uh, we just, I don't know. We're just in trouble, dude. The game also wants us to play with a bow, so I will eventually swap if I if I get a bow. That's like worth equipping. We don't need that. I don't know how the other one didn't get aggroed. Dude, we do so much damage. That's an insane axe, bro. Three agility, two spirit. It is more DPS also. If he has leather working, I assume he doesn't. As a cell phone warrior, no thanks. <laughs> He's saying no to that axe. I'm not gonna give it to you, my buddy. 
What would you even do with Southhound? Like, what? Like, I'm just honestly curious. What would you do if you get like crazy good items, bro? Do you just like go and take it? Or do you just vendor it? That must be so painful, dude. Honestly. I don't know what to do with this inventory. We need to go sell stuff. We'll even sell the bags. We don't need it anymore. As a hardcore self-funded warrior. No thanks. Dude, he can't be that high level. Yeah. I'm actually... Dude, I'm actually hyped to actually start a series like that. It might actually be something people will watch, right? Hardcore, classic WoW, self-found. Self-found, no group quests. No group quests or dungeons. That's a very, very long name. For a part one. Great to meet you. Like I said, I it has to be. Be good. How much slots do we have? Four. Yeah, we need to get to an auction house. It has to be something that people will watch, because it's gonna be very hard to level. So yeah, I need to get to an auction house. I need to do a lot of stuff. We need to solve this inventory. Where would you like to fly to? Have a good one. So we have quite a few things. I'm gonna put this thing up in the auction house as well. Like I don't need this. It's one agility more than what we have. But I'd rather make 60 to 70, 80 silver. <laughs> Two people saying no already. Maybe. <laughs> if there's an extra challenge involved.
Like only crafted items allowed. Or as a hunter, you can only melee. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Dude, there's no item like this. We'll put it up for 80 silver. No item like this. Oh, it's minus two. No, no, it's plus. There's a paladin that got to 60 that walked only and did self found. Dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I don't know if I would any, like ever do anything like that, to be honest. Let's see, plus 4 strength, 2 stamina, level 15. I would say 50 silver, right? It's a pretty good one. Don't we need this now? No. Other guys saying that you can only use crafted items. So how would only crafted items work? If you do leatherworking, you do not... You, you can't craft weapons. I, 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 I don't know. That challenge to me is a bit stupid, honestly. There's no better way to put it. Okay, we have 16 inventory slots. Best deals in all of Stormwind, my friend, won't find any better. Now what can I help you with? You can do dungeons, but you have to solo them.
How would you solo anything on South Found? Crafted only. Or is there something specific I can help you find today? There is no way, dude. Be careful. Okay, let's make this leather. I mean, the only, the only challenge that these guys are talking about that I would do is melee only hunter. Like everything else they're talking about is just like so bad. Like I wouldn't do it. Like walk only? Bro, imagine walk only. Imagine you play the whole game like this. There is no way I'll do it ever. I'm sorry. It's just stupid. And they're saying there's people that actually did it. Like, what? Deals in all of Stormwind, my friend, won't find any better. Now, what can I help you with? See you later. I'll make a I'll make a new playlist and see how it does, but like honestly, I I, I personally just think that Where is it you would like to go last? For just a few coin, my griffins can get ye there faster than even the swiftest horse. I I think the challenge has to be doable, right? At the end of the day. And if the challenge Dude, I didn't buy, but I don't even know where to buy bullets, to be honest. If the challenge is not, like, even fun for me to do, then how do, how do I expect people to watch the series, right? I mean, self found, no grouping, no grouping allowed. That, to me, is already a big challenge. So, no dungeons... Like, the only stuff you can equip is from quests, from loot you get in the world, and from quest gives, uh, quests uh, input or rewards, right? Oh, fuck. I should have gone... Tr I, I should have trained my aspect of the cheetah. Like, I'm just trying to think here what the best thing is, but I, I, I honestly think I want to start a challenge a character or so along the sides. It could be fun. I wouldn't say I'm playing the game on easy mode, but it's definitely easier than it, than, than it could be, in my opinion. But guys, this is where the part is going to end. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.